Welcome back to Spotlight Online! And here's... Fun Fact of the Week! Did you know that Jesus had brothers and sisters too? Jesus' brothers are mentioned in several Bible verses in the book of Matthew, Luke and Mark. The Bible tells us that Jesus had four brothers named James, Joseph, Simon and Judas. He had sisters too, but they were not named or numbered. That's the fun fact of the week. Okay, before we get ready to worship God, let's pray. Dear God, we want to thank you for your love and grace in our lives. As we rejoice and sing unto you, from the bottom of our hearts, we want to remember how great you are. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody say, Amen!
Bible story time. Good morning, children. It's 2021, and we are starting a new series today on the parables of Jesus. Did you know that the parables are stories told by Jesus as he taught the crowds, focusing on many issues that concern the kingdom of God? I love stories because they teach me and challenge me to think, reflect, and learn. Especially so if Jesus is my storyteller. So let's dive in and learn together today. Hey, Pastor Sam! Hello, Pastor Sam! Hi, Pastor Raymond, you're here! What's up? Why are you so focused on the cards? Well, what I'm trying to do is to practice patience and focus. If I could only stack them up. But it's not easy, you know. Can I try? It looks fun. Hmm. Well, I got another stack of cards here. Let's see if we can do better. Now, let's see who will be the first to build a three-story tower. Of course, it's me. All right. Ready, three, two, one, go. Sam, you're really good at it. Well, Pastor Raymond, I may have won, but there is still something I can't get right. Even with hard work and focus, the cards still fall quite readily. Maybe it's the foundation. Foundation? Yeah, definitely the foundation. You see the high-rise building and offices in Singapore? They all need a strong and steady foundation so that they don't get knocked down easily. A good foundation determines whether your stack of cards will fall easily when a gentle wind blows on it. So you're saying, other than patience and focus to build something great, a good foundation is most important? Yes, of course! In fact, there's a story in the Bible that teaches us about that too. Oh, you mean the parable of the builders which Jesus taught the people in the Sermon on the Mount? Yep, that's the one. Hmm, now that you've mentioned, let's take a look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 29 to see what Jesus says. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority and not as their teachers of the law. What I've learned in this parable of Jesus is that Jesus was teaching everyone that our foundations in Christ needs to be steady. 
And that's why he mentioned that it is unwise to build the house on sand because it doesn't give a strong foundation. And the house will eventually fall and amount to nothing, no matter how much effort you put into it. Well, I for one definitely don't want to waste all my effort on building something that would not last. I'm sure you feel the same way too, right children? In fact, we are all called to build our lives upon the solid rock of Jesus Christ. And in order to do that, we should not just stop at hearing God's word only, but we have to practice, practice, practice the word of God in our lives. This is so that when storms and difficulties come our way, we can stand firm in our faith and say that we will still trust God no matter what. You know, in this parable, we also see that Jesus presented himself as the final authority and the fulfiller of the law. He is calling all of us to find our security in him and not be like the foolish builder who built his house on the sand. There's a song I learned in church and it goes like this. The wise man built his house upon the rock the wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. Okay, Pastor Sam, why don't you join me? Sure. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it together. One to go. The wise, wise man built the house upon the rock. The wise man built the house upon the rock. The wise men built the house upon the rock And the rain came tumbling down The rain came down, the floods came up The rain came down, the floods came up The rain came down, the floods came up And the house on the rock stood firm the foolish man built his house upon the sand. The, the foolish man built the house upon the sand. The foolish man built the house upon the sand. And the house and the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down, the floods came up. The rain came down, the floods came up. The rain came down, the floods came up, and the house on the wind went flat. And the house on the sand went splat. Well done, children. So, as we learn to trust and obey God, we can be unshaken no matter what we face in life. Because Jesus, our solid rock, is strong. Now, Pastor Raymond, shall we give the cards another try? And this time, let's do it together. I'm sure I can do it better with your help. And we are going to make sure that the foundation is right. Let's start. Today, we learn two important lessons. Number one, Jesus is a strong foundation. There is nothing and no one who is as big, powerful and strong as Jesus. When we rely on Him, He keeps us safe and makes us feel secure in Him. Number two, we need to build our lives upon Jesus. We're talking about what's the most important thing in your life. Is it your family? your friends, your house, or getting good grades in school? What do you build your whole life on? Well, you can start to build your life on Jesus by believing in Him and knowing more about Jesus through His Word. And when you do, you'll be able to stand strong when the storms in life comes and gain wisdom from God to do what is right in His eyes. What's today's activity? Children, we have some activity worksheets prepared for you online. Head over to this link to download them. And if you wish to share your reflections with us, 
you can email us at sparkline at lighthouse.org.sg. You know what they say about knowing and practicing the Word of God? Our memory verse of the day is found in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. It says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Let's repeat it and say it again. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Well done! Now, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and talk to Jesus. Dear God, we thank you for teaching us your word today. You are our strong foundation and we want to build our lives upon you and live out our faith in you. Teach us, Lord, to learn from your word and apply it daily in our lives so that we can be like the wise man who built his house upon the rock. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen! Now join us for the next episode in the Parables of Jesus series. Stay tuned for the quiz challenge to see how much you've learned. It's time for Quiz Challenge! Are you ready for five simple questions? Here we go! What is the name of this new series? Parables of the Bible Jesus and the Parables Parables of Jesus My Parables And the answer is Parables of Jesus The wise man built his house upon the blank Fill in the blank Mud Sand Clay Rock And the answer is, the wise man built his house upon the rock. Why were the crowds amazed at Jesus' teaching? Jesus spoke in very good English. Jesus taught them with authority unlike the teachers of the law. Jesus smiled brightly at the end of his teaching. Jesus remembered all of their names. And the answer is, Jesus taught them with authority, unlike the teachers of the law. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 tells us that a wise person, blank, fill in a blank, builds a house, hears God's word and puts it into practice. Hears God's word and builds a house, avoids the rain and flood. And the answer is Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 tells us that a wise person hears God's word and puts it into practice. And now for the last question. What can we learn from the parable of the builders? The importance of building our lives upon Jesus. We can find our security in Jesus. We need to hear and practice the word of God in our lives. All of the above. And the answer is all of the above. And that's the end of today's lesson. See, See you next week. week.